Alright, everybody. Hello, I am Bones. This is one of two Let's Plays we're going to do today. And Christmas, so Merry Christmas. Uh, we're doing Feminazi the Triggering. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to get some sort of hate for this, but uh, it looked funny. Um, so I figured why not. Let's see the instructions here. This guide will teach us how to unleash our true inner feminists and fight the oppressive evil patriarchy in order to bring about social justice. You can't tell you probably shouldn't take this game that serious. It's obviously a commentary on the ridiculousness that has become um, third wave feminism. A real feminazi is always triggered, which can be seen in the trigger effect. If the trigger bar ever gets empty, the feminazi loses the game as well as uh, purpose in life. Uh, there is also the tolerance bar. A true social justice warrior is ever tolerant, and to lose tolerance is a grievous sin. Do not let it get empty, so you gotta keep our meters full. In order to keep the trigger and tolerance bars full, a feminazi must employ various tactics. Getting triggered near evil white males or shaming fake feminists will fill the trigger bar. So these are little examples here uh, of that. Uh, in order to keep the trigger and tolerance bar full, after to oh, okay. Welcoming refugees fills the tolerance bar and makes the world a better place, full of love and equality. Uh, every pepper feminazi has shining white knights at their disposal. <laughs> this is true. They will follow you and amplify all your reactions by giving you bonus points and moral support. White knights are easily identified by their liberal look. Um, so those are the white knights. So. But beware, if a feminazi reacts incorrectly, there will be consequences. I have a feeling that it'll like drain our meter faster if we screw that up. Feminazis would not be complete without vandalizing property. Show your activism by kicking trash cans and spraying various graffiti around the town. Enter various buildings to find new locations, meet new oppressive white males, and play many games to earn even more feminist points. Um, all those. <laughs> There are safe, safe spaces. Wonderful. Well, in a safe space, your trigger and tolerance bars will be frozen, allowing the feminazi to rest. Alright. I think we got everything we need here now. Um, one thing that's interesting about this game, first of all, is that you can actually make your own gender. <laughs> um, which I love the idea of. So we're gonna do green hair, shall we? I feel like we need green hair. Um, let's pick an outfit that says I don't know exactly what I am. We gotta have glasses. Because most feminists that I see wear those cat glasses, these ones here. Or the, like, there's usually glasses. Um, I see a lot of feminists with glasses and out some sort of like outrageous hair. And that generally lets me know that I will be dealing with a feminist that day. Um, and again, I'm not trying to bash anybody, police, whatever you're saying, that's up to you. But I can certainly agree that I think nowadays people have gone a bit batshit crazy. So this game is obviously a way to kind of parody that part of society. And uh, yeah, I think it needs uh, gender, cis, you know, of gender, male, bi gender, androgyny, neutrois, a gender, a gender. I don't even know what the fuck some of this is, I'll be quite honest. Um, we're gonna make our own though, because why not? Mayo, they made mayo. Toaster, I don't know, maybe we're a toaster. There's an Apache attack helicopter. A trash bucket. Uh, I feel like the Apache attack helicopter would be a great one, but no. We're doing our own gender. We even get to draw an icon. We're gonna be a... Gator tank.
There we go. I totally identify as a alligator attack tank. Obviously, we need green. And we need a gender icon. Um, I am horrible with mouse drawing. So, there's a grid we can use to make it better. But it's not gonna help. So, we're just gonna wing this shit. There we go. There's something like a little alligator. I am uh, Picasso. Junior here. Since he's like part tank, I'm gonna get like some huge tank. Uh... God, this is awful looking. Okay. I'm gonna do a little eye there for him. I'm gonna do. Maybe like a little body thing up here. Shit, I don't think I'll set up. And uh, some tank treads. This is probably the worst drawing. This looks like a high six year old has drawn this. But, uh, don't oppress me. So yeah. We did it. I <laughs> got an achievement. Real SWJ. Right, so we have our uh, we have our gender up there now, Gator Tank. Um, why not? Uh, we can even submit it to the workshop. Uploading done. Uh, we have a we have banners we can do. We need a banner. You just can't, I mean, you can't fight the power without a banner. I don't feel like any of these are what I'm looking for. I want something like a fist or, you know, fight the oppression. We need something like that. We <laughs> got a fucking pirate one. There we go. Man, now that's what I'm talking about. Alright, so... All right, I think we're good to go. This is us. This is us here. The fuck have I done? Okay. Uh, I'm so gonna get hate mail for this. Okay, and I do. I do. Is that it? I just. I'm, I, that's me now. I hit fight. Yes, that's me. Okay. So uh, what's going on here? So. Uh, all right, all right. I move with these. This is a safe space. Now let me take a look here. I got tolerance and triggering. Um, so what is this? For X, that is something. A is graffiti. And I can go in and out of places apparently. Um, okay, so there is a evil. Oh, there's an evil white male. Oh, there's a there's a dude. I need to welcome him. Okay. I shouted oppression. Oh, flags. Flags. I got flags. Okay. Welcome. This is a... Uh, I am being triggered. That is a evil... Oh god, my low tolerance warning. I need to get my tolerance up. What is going on here? My tolerance meter. Cut my tolerance. Come here. Can we just... Can I, like, spam the shit out of it? Oh, but now I'm not triggered enough. Let's tell this motherfucker off. Yes. And we can spread a message of something. Okay, so let's go into the pharmacy. I'm working on it. Let's go into the pharmacy here. Well, look at that shit. I see all around me. Toxic... Masculinity. <clears throat> I lost my intolerance. Uh, we're gonna try again here. I can do this shit. I can do it. It's it's very quick. This game. There's a lot of. I didn't realize um, how fast this was gonna be. But man, there's like a just a barrage of fucking. Um, just a barrage of 
fast moving stuff going on here, so you really gotta like haul ass and run. Um, oh, there's a disco. Dance your impression away. Hit the correct arrow keys at the right time. Okay. Okay, I see. Down. Up. 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 I'm awful at these games. And one thing I will say is I played one of this guy's other games and he does hand drawn graphics to all his stuff, uh, which is not as uh, easy as you would think, actually. So kudos to him for that. There's an evil white male right there. And there is acceptance. And this, I can graffiti the shit out of this, so we're gonna graffiti that. I believe there that we have some more acceptance we can do. Oh, cop cars. Cop cars. We can we can do something with the cop cars. Can we can we oppress the cop cars? Can I yell at the cops? I think I can. Oh trigger warning. I need to get triggered. No oh, shit. We can spray that. Can we spray other things? No? I don't know what's going on. My trigger warning is not going. Well, my triggering. I'm not triggered enough. Help! How do I trigger more? Things you don't think you'll say. I lost. I lost. Needs more triggers. I'm getting achievements here, though, but I need to be more triggered. That dude literally looks like Hitler. I love that <laughs> he's literally shaking. That is a little slam. Um, Lots of feminists when Trump, uh, who I did not vote for, um, ended up getting in office. It was it was crazy because it was I accidentally shamed him instead of shaming this dude who I was supposed to do. Um, but no, it was like there was a whole whole bunch here of oh. It's hard as shit. Okay, I have lost a bunch. Who knew it was so difficult to actually be a homeless? I mean, not a real homeless, let's be honest. He's a not real woman's rights people. Most of the time, um, what happens is you get people who are spreading a message of equal hate and discussing that there is love in the first place, and then you have shit like this. Okay, so far my meters are alright, let's keep this going. Tolerance. Tolerance. Um, there's an evil white male. I actually wonder if this is, per it is indeed what people see when they see, like, is this really what the current um, state of feminism believes? Because if so, uh, wow. Oh shit, I'm in a man cave. You better believe there's gonna be some triggering now. There will be triggering like the time for triggering has never existed before. Look at my trigger meters. <laughs> All the way up. How do I leave? How do I leave? Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, how do I leave here? I don't know what's happening. What do I do? Can I, like, uh, spray something? Break something? Knock some shit over. Okay, okay, so I left there. Alright, so we can do that. I found a man cave that was great. For, for that, but my tolerance meter needs to go up, so, uh, we're, we're working on that. I told a lot of people to check their privilege, but it's wonderful. Now we are, this dude literally said white supremacy, so I don't quite feel bad about shaming his ass. Oh, God. 
Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit, dude. Use your mouse. Oh god. I'm going to hell. I am going to hell. How do I know who's what? What's going on here? That was, that was, oh lord, I don't think I did that one right, and I'm, I'm okay with that, because that one was, holy shit, was that just a slippery slope of, on my way of getting banned from YouTube, so, it was not great, uh, wow. I will say, uh, this designer has certainly made a game, uh, that is a lot more than just a statement that is actually quite challenging. You wouldn't think it is as challenging as it is, but it actually is quite hard to run around. You see this now. I've lost like four or five times on this one. I'm going to give it one more try here. Um, holy cow, dude. This is a very fast-paced game, but it's, it's actually very... I mean, obviously this is satire, guys. I mean, if you can't see the satire in this, then maybe relax a little in the first place. That's, I think that's one problem. Um, as it is, is that we have lost our fucking minds with, with that. Oh, that guy had it. He had it coming. Okay, so that guy is good, I think. Uh, we can go on the police station. Save the minorities while shooting the oppressors. Regular controls move. Left click, shoot, right click, reload. Holy oh, shit. Come on, baby. I earned feminist points. I don't know what those are good for, but... I feel like maybe they're good for something. My tolerance meter needs to be higher, I think. Uh, okay, so my tolerance meter is going better there. I just shouted literally rape at a hot dog guy for no reason other than that he was white. I feel like I have literally accomplished... Man, is that hard. That is a hard game. Um, so what do you want more? I will say this, it's it's one of those that you want to keep going on because you keep thinking, what else could I have done? What could I have done different? To be better at it. Um, he has a lot of achievements, I'll say that in this game. There are lots of achievements. Um, I keep getting them. Should I say triggering them? Huh? Every time I turn around. I love that one of these dudes literally looks like Hitler Jr. It's almost like they purposely try to... Yeah, see, there's a guy that says Murica. So... It's flat out. So that is a white knight there. So I want to help him. Um, that is my loud-ass cat in the background. Oh. You have triggered the wrong person. I have smashed your car. My trigger meter is up more than my tolerance meter. So let's go over here and tolerance the shit out of this guy and this guy. And trigger the shit out of this set of people. And... Hey, hey, look at that. We got a bunch of, a bunch of little shit going on. Okay, so this, I know why there are safe spaces now, because, man, is this a very fast-paced game, and it takes a little bit to really get into, like, figuring out a, a strategy, you know, of what to do. Um, my tolerance meter is going good. Better. But it, the tolerance, I, 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 
in the future, just a suggestion for the guy um, that I think might be helpful is a difficulty setting. Um, I feel like this is a super friggin' fast-paced game, which is both good and bad, mind you. Um, mostly good. Not really bad, I just need to get better at it. Uh, because I am not. <laughs> no, I did the wrong damn one. Shit. Oh, my tolerance. My tolerance. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. It's, it's, uh, alright, my tolerance is alright. I know what your low tolerance warning I'm fucking working on. Look at all the glasses I pulled from now. Things you do not think you will say in a day. I know I have low tolerance, but I'm working on it. Alright. I'll say one thing. Is, uh, you can move quite a bit faster than I realize, and running around this map like crazy is my strategy right now. We are just... We're trying to hedge our bets on being able to do everything that I possibly uh, can. I really need to worry about the tolerance first. I think the triggering is way the hell up there. So let's worry about helping people. Okay, so good. So the the so I need to be careful here. It's not every white guy that I need to go out and press here. It's the uh, guys who say dumb shit. Like do you even lift here? That guy there, I would for example want to Yes, but these people here, these guys, are they're good. I want to make sure that I'm getting them, so I'm, I'm learning a little. Um, the developer is probably going nuts watching this, like, you know. Dude, read this more. Uh, but I'm learning, I'm learning. Uh, but again, very fast-paced game. Uh, I will give them credit because it is a lot. There's a lot more to it than you would think. You would think, oh, this is just a horrible parody game or just made to be shocking. But no, in fact, I think it is a sort of... It is a commentary... I think it's a commentary on, on how people um, have kind of just gotten way the hell over um, zealous with being oversensitive, and we don't even know what the hell we're being oversensitive about half the time. We're being... We freak out over dumb shit. And I mean, yes, we're not going to agree with each other on everything, but... You know... When you're one extreme or the other, then you... you're still part of the problem. In my eyes, I feel like you can't really be... Shopping. Check your privilege. Okay, so you hit D and you leave a place. Um, so yeah, that's it's see like that guy, strong lord of strong nation, so you wanna yell at him because obviously that's a, a Trump uh, recital. Literally shaking so far is the best in joke I've seen on here because yes, in fact, that was uh, they actually called it the shakening the event. It was a real thing on YouTube. You can look it up where people were freaking out over Trump and uh, I don't know what happened, but I'll, every blogger around was writing stuff like I'm literally shaking, literally shaking, literally oppressed, and just a bunch of this shit where it got insane. Um, I mean, it, yeah, it got pretty crazy, so my tolerance is down again. The tolerance is the hardest one, I think, to keep up. Um, the trigger meter, you can do a little faster because you can run around and yell at the white males and they're right there, but the tolerance one, you really gotta keep on your game here. Get it? Keep on your game, keep playing your game. And then that works. Um, and your white knights there, you can also use tolerance and them, I've noticed, and that helps. And the women, you basically shame and can yell at, because they're not feminist, and that helps. I think I actually just shame around you there, okay, so we want to help him. 
Let's see, that one guy shouted Murica. So, right there, that tells us everything we need to know about that son of a bitch, doesn't it? That son of a bitch. He's a son of a bitch and a son of a bitch. So, you know, that dude there just hit on my uh, gender of whatever I am. I don't know exactly. But. So, we gotta yell at that person and yell at him. I got a megaphone, so now I have more power. Um, that guy just shouted like light powers, so his ass is he's in trouble. Fuck with me, do ya? That is a huge motherfucker there. That is a big guy. Uh, I'm glad they don't fight back in this because I would have got the worst ass kicking in my life right there. From that, dude. that was he was a big guy. Um, no tolerance warning. And the sound effects are pretty hilarious in this too. If you are not, uh, if you guys cannot hear them well, that is because I learned that for some odd reason my mic likes to not pick me up over the sound of games. Uh, the games normally take precedence with my mic. Oh shit. I screwed that one up. Should not have done that. There we go. We're back on it. We're back in the game here. We're back in the game. This is the longest I have been going, so I'm, I am clearly learning. And these little tolerance flags are little flags. Capitalism. Suppression. So there are special things here that you can do. I've noticed. Um, I actually did not think I would be around uh, in this game this long, so I'm, I'm doing much better this time. Um, so that is for sure. See, strong board is strong nation, so that guy there, we need to... We need to mess with uh, him, we can graffiti the shit out of him. Out of things. My tolerance meter is pretty good. This is definitely the longest I've lasted in this. This guy just said long with capitalism, so we're going to shout my privilege at him. Which I've, I've never experienced male privilege, so I don't know what magical thing that is, but. Um, and I, dude, I just. I know I'm so going to get just a ton of hate for this one, but oh well. Uh, the game itself is pretty hilarious. It's a parody. Again, if you are that worried about what happens in a video game, and guys, are, I mean, really, uh, pick, pick better fights. This is it is clearly meant to be a parody of the society we live in and the over um, indulgence. And people just being offended by every little thing on the planet. Um, and I mean, I'm not gonna say that some of it isn't decently deserving to be offended by, but to the degree that I think we have become afraid to speak our minds to one another as human beings and have opinions, and it's gotten pretty fucking ridiculous. Um, Merry Christmas, everybody! So, yeah. Holy shit. I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna lie, this, this dude, whoever he is, is, uh, well, I know who he is. He's, uh, a guy here who has also created the Nihilist Simulator you saw us do on my channel. Um, and that one was also good. Um, so, he's not afraid to do some controversial games, alright, uh, let's, let's just throw that out there, he does not shy away from the controversy, but I think he is making a statement with games like this. Um, so we are trying very hard to... I've earned feminist points like crazy here, I feel like I got, <laughs> I got some... 
crazy scores going in. Hopefully I'm doing the dev proud here by uh, by learning the game a little more. Um, I feel like I have certainly got a better angle on this game, that's for sure. After after dying like eight times, I finally figured it out. Um, I was shaming all males when in fact the white knights you do not shame you breathe down with the tolerance thing and that, that helps see like this guy here and him. So it's all about finding that balance there. Um, and if I'm not sure, then I just don't, I don't mess with it, frankly. I let it be. But yeah, I do notice the tolerance meter goes down a lot faster than the trigger meter, I think. And maybe it's, um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just the way I'm playing this and they are both equal. I don't know. But either way, even if I do not die pretty soon we will end this one. I wanted to give you guys a little preview and if you guys like this game then make sure you click the link. Of course, like all of our games, we have a link to where you guys can uh, go and pick up a copy of it. It's uh, a very affordable game. Um, you can create your own gender as you saw there. Um, there's a Steam Workshop support so you can make sure that you can get other uh, people's genders they have made. Um, now we have uploaded our own. Although the picture is horrible for it, I'm sure somebody has done a much better job with that. Uh, of that I have no doubt. So, I am not. Uh, I am no artiste when it comes to this stuff. There are lots of little, um, I'm not gonna do this many games for now because I don't want to. Uh, I feel like if I show y'all everything you can do on this, then uh, it's kind of ruin it, you know? Part of the fun is figuring this stuff out. But I will say, this is quite a big little map, you know? I didn't, uh, I didn't know the town would be this big, but there is actually a lot you can do in this. Um, a lot of ground you can cover. A lot of people you can yell at and be oppressed by and uh, be triggered by and live out your wildest patchy attack chapter dreams of uh, being triggered by everything and everybody. So, if you're somebody who is having a crummy day and you just want a quick chuckle, and uh, to me, that I could see where this game would be good for that. If you're somebody who genuinely um, does want to. See what the game is about and enjoys a good parody. Um, this game is for you too, I think. I think this game is for a lot of different people, really, for different reasons. You know, uh, I think you could really play this no matter which end of the spectrum you're on. If you're for or against third wave feminism, I think you could probably play this game and get a little takeaway either way. Um, I will say, keep your fingers on the uh, arrow keys. Keep moving is my advice um, because you are gonna. It's like one part uh, feminist movement, one part Pac-Man in a way because you you have got to keep moving. If you do not keep moving, you are gonna be doomed. That that definitely is one thing that I have noticed. Um, yeah, this is definitely the biggest score I've gotten in this game, so, oh, but a shame you shouted Murica if you having that shit. Figured the shit on you right there. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's obviously a lot of humor in this. Some people seem obvious as to who you should be yelling at, some people are not as obvious as I've said. Um, and I noticed you can kind of hit up some of the same people after a while, which is kind of nice. It's not, I don't think it's like a cheat thing either. I think it is kind of to even out some of the more difficult areas. Um, so they kind of decide to, uh, the developer has kind of let you kind of, you know, remind people here and there, like, you know, 
Look, this is what I'm... This is the area I want to be in. Kind of re-greet these people with acceptance. Um, I almost feel like it would be too difficult with that. But I will say, as I am getting into this a little more, uh, I'm finding the game quite a bit more balanced than I had originally thought. It's just, play it a few times, um, get a feel for it, and I think you'll find your rhythm. As you can see, I have certainly found uh, my rhythm here. So, uh, we are going to call this game. Uh, thank you guys, I am Bones. Uh, please make sure to uh, subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Uh, got another one coming up for you today because it is uh, Christmas Day, Xmas Day, uh, Happy Glowing Cow Day, whatever you support, man. I don't, I, look, I don't care. I'm here to make you guys laugh and enjoy yourself. Uh, so anyway, so thank you guys very much for watching, and uh, have fun!